In one of my most recent videos, I got absolutely torn up by a storm drain Tatsugiri team. So, I got you guys for today's video. We are rocking out with a storm drain Tatsugiri team that also features Don Dozo, Chiyu, and Fluttermane combo. And then we got Dragonite and Focus Sash Glamora. Hopefully, grab some wins with it and showcase this Pokemon to its fullest potential. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. But first Pokemon we have on our team is going to be Don Dozo. And Don Dozo is here without Tatsugiri. Tatsugiri does not have the commander ability, so this Pokemon cannot hop into Don Dozo's mouth, giving it all those stat boosts. But what we can actually use this for is actually Don Dozo is pretty good on its own, but it can actually make our opponent think that we are rocking that combo. We got Unaware, the Citrus Berry, Wave Crash, Bulldoze for Speed Control, Yawn, and Protect. Like I said, Dantozo is still pretty strong on its own, so I wouldn't be surprised if we actually bring it into a couple battles in today's video. Tatsugiri is going to be our second Pokemon, and Tatsugiri has always been strong on its own. It's just so much stronger when you pair it up with Dantozo, but now that it has the Storm Drain ability, it is super, super good at countering Palafins. It's got Storm Drain, the Choice Specs, Dragon Pulse, Muddy Water, Draco Meteor, and Terror Blast. This thing always hits hard, giving it the Choice Specs. This thing is a monster. It is an absolute monster, especially with Storm Drain, right? If you block a water move, you get a plus one on special attack, making this thing do even more damage. Its special attack is already high enough, and its speed's pretty solid. I really do like this Pokemon. Chiyu is going to be our third Pokemon, and I love Chiyu. Chiyu is just great, make its special attackers do more damage, we can pair it up with Tatsugiri, but for the most part, we're probably going to be pairing up with this Fluttermane. That combo is just too strong in Series 3, why not keep using it? We got Beads of Ruin, the Covert Cloak as our item, Dark Pulse, Flamethrower, Terra Blast, and Protect. Fourth Pokemon is going to be Fluttermane with Protosynthesis and the Booster Energy. It's got Hex to double its damage up against Pokemon with status conditions, got Moonblast for Stab, Substitute, which is awesome if you can set it up, and then Protect as our final move. We got Dragonite in our fifth slot, and Dragonite is just solid all around for Series 3. If we're going up against Team with Chen Pao, you gotta, you, we gotta bring Dragonite, right? It just, it's just a priority, right? If you're going up against a Shen Pao and they have it on the field, Dragonite is top tier. East speed and doing some crazy damage. You gotta love it. He's got multi-scale, the safety goggles as item, aerial ace, stop and catch him, east speed, and protect. Final Pokemon on today's team is going to be Glamora. And Glamora, you're starting to see more and more on the rank ladder, especially with Wo Chen, but this time we're using it without Wo Chen. So if we're going up against a bulky Pokemon that we're gonna be struggling up against, I might as well just toxic it, put a big time poison on him, and take it out. We got Toxic Debris, the Focus Ash, Rocket Power Jump, Earth Power, Toxic, and Spiky Shield for its moveset. Guys, you want to rent this team for yourself? Rent the code is at the top right hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that ranked double ladder. Let's grab some wins with the Storm Drain Tatsugiri team. First match coming at you guys, and this is perfect. We're going up against a Palafin team, and hopefully they bring that Pokemon. They also have Skelly Dirge, Ting Lu, Bax Calibur, Arbalova, and Farigarev. So really cool team. Definitely props to our opponent here. Definitely props to our opponent. But I definitely want to bring in Tatsugiri, but I don't want to lead it. So who should I bring in for the lead? I mean, Frigoraph could come in here. I mean, we could go Chiyu, which I really, really like. So I'm going to go Chiyu, and I think I'm just going to pair it up with Fluttermane or, or the Glamora. Who would I rather pair it up with? I mean, if Ting Lu gets a lead, that's a little rough for us. But I think we should be fine. So I'm going to go in with, I think Fluttermane is just a great call here. Fluttermane rips up into, up into a few of them. So I'm going to go Fluttermane. I'm going to go Chiyu. I am going to bring Tatsugiri in the back end. You do have a great move set. You got your Stab Water. You got your Stab Dragon Moves. You got Terror Blast as well, which turns into Ghost. And then last but not least, do I go Don Dozo? I could go just Don Dozo by itself. But I'm kind of leaning towards Pokemon more so like Dragonite. First turn priority. Super effective onto a few. I'm with it. Even though Glamour is great too. I love the Poison. I would love the Poison. Hopefully they don't lead the Ting Low. Hopefully they do not lead Ting Lu because I was thinking about swapping my Fluttermane for Glamora as the lead. And then in that case, if Ting Lu comes in here, we could just poison it and kind of get off some crazy damage onto it. And just start slowly KOing it. But we're going to say they don't lead it. We're going we're gonna to go with the, they're not leading it. Beautiful. Palfin and Frigraph come out here. I highly doubt, I mean, they could go into a Jet Punch. They really could just go straight into a Jet Punch. And at that point, we should be able to eat it. I could Terrasilize. Um, do I want to Terrasilize though? Hmm. I could Terrasilize in straight grass, which I really like. I think I'm gonna do. I think I'm just gonna set up a substitute. Because if Frigoraph's doing anything, it's definitely popping a Trick Room. And I'm just gonna do that. Because Palfin might not even swap. Palfin just might go for a Jet Punch, and I think that's exactly what it's doing. So I could have swapped into Tatsugiri. That could have been a free play for us. 
But I'm just gonna Thrasilize and save my Storm Drain Pokemon for the back end. Especially if this thing comes in hot later just for jet punches. Storm Drain could definitely clutch up. So if Rigoraph opts to protect, you gotta be going for a jet punch or something. Go for that jet punch. What are you doing, Palfin? Are you crashing? What are you doing? I'm setting up a sub here. What are you doing, Pally? Pally, what are you doing? This is crazy. This is absurd right now. You gotta be wave crashing. You are wave crashing. Go for the wave crash into that slot. So that's fine. Um, definitely probably gonna swap now. Might even terrestrialize the uh, the Ferrigraph into f a lot of them are fairy as of recently. Um, if he's gonna swap anything, it's gonna be the Tinglu, correct? Most likely. I could save my Chiyu for the back end. Mm. Who do I swap into here? I could swap into Dragonite. I think I still rip into this thing. I think I'm gonna go into a flamethrower instead. Because I think he would terrestrialize if anything. I'm just gonna moon blast on top of that. I'm gonna double down for graph. Yep, there's the withdrawal and palfin. Probably Ting Lu's gonna come out here. And I think he terrestrialized the Fergie. Yep, there's Ting Lu. And we'll deal with that when we can. So wow, that could have been a great swap into Tatsu. So he ends up just staying in here with Ferrigraph, which is really, really weird. We do some nice damage. Can Flamethrower KO? I kind of hope it can, because we need to sing dead. And okay, cool. We get rid of the Ferrigraph. So that's a big time turn for us. I'll take that all day. We still have Substitute on our Fluttermane. We still have Tatsu in the back end. If he wants to just bring out Palafin, I mean, we can really rip into it. But now I can go into a... Oh, there is Palafin. There is Palafin. And I mean, I'm going to stay in here another turn. And he's probably going to Thrasilize Ting Lu, but I still want to go into this here. And probably just... Do I double down on Ting Lu? I think he Thrasilizes. I think we get after Ting Lu here. It's a great call from us. So we're doubling down into this thing. Doing some big time damage. And Palafin's probably just getting rid of my substitute, right? And then, after he gets rid of the substitute, then I can swap into my boy, Tatsu. So we're going to chuck up damage here. Almost KO. Another one will, which is big time. And he's going to go for the wave crash. So I keep my sub, and I die to that. Ouch. Hit me hard. Hit me hard. And I think I just go into Tatsu from here, right? Or some not being able to use water moves. That's big time for us. That is big time for us. And a heavy slam comes out here. I'm cool with that. I am cool with that. If I just go into Tatsu here, force him not to be able to use water moves, I like that a lot. Because you could just go into a jet punch into my fighter main if not. So, Tatsu's just going to pop out here. I'm with it all day. So I'm going to bring out the Tatsu. I think I just pop a nice little muddy water here. Just to KO onto the Ting Lu. And then we'll go from there. And we're going to be choosing in that. Do we know his final Pokemon? We do not. But if I had to guess, there's no way it's Arbolivar, right? And at that point, we would just swap out. But I really like muddy water here to get rid of the Ting Lu. And chip up some damage on the Palafin, so... We're gonna do that. There's the jet punch. Storm Drain Tatsugiri coming out here in match number one. We love it. Give me that plus one special attack boost. Yes, sir. Let's go. Moon Blast now gonna fly. Pick up some big damage onto that. You cannot use water moves on me. You cannot. And now I get that. Ting Lu is gone. Palafin cannot get first turn priority. Water Man's gonna outspeed. It's beautiful. It's a lovely, it's a lovely little sushi fish, dude. I love this Pokemon. I always love Tatsugiri without Dondozo. Little tiny sushi fish just chilling there. Max Caliber is going to be the final Pokemon. He's probably going to opt to Terrestrialize. I mean, from here, I would love to swap, but Muddy Water is still going to be our play. That's exactly what we going to do. And they haven't used their Terror, right? I believe they haven't. I believe they haven't. Yeah, so there, he's going to Terrestrialize that, and I wonder what typing he's going to go into. I think Moonblast is still our play. Let's rip it to a Moonblast in the slot. So, outcomes to Rasalization, what terror type are you? I still feel like Moonblast can be neutral. A lot of these guys have been rocking ground types. This one's gonna be water, okay. I feel ya, I feel ya. That's a little water terror type. And so, Muddy Water can chunk up some nice damage. Palafin's gonna opt to protect. He'll probably take out my Tatsu, but that's all good. Moonblast now flies. Picking up some big time damage with a crit. You're gonna go for a Glaive Rush to take out my Tatsu. That is fine. I mean, you can now jet punch me, which is kind of annoying. But I get to bring out Dragonite. And actually, Dragonite has priority over him. That's huge. Dragonite can E-speed that slot. We can pop another Moonblast, and that's game, set, match. GG's, man. GG's.
So yo, Tatsu coming in, blocking that jet punch was huge. It really was. So I'm gonna Moon Blast, I'm gonna E-Speed into the Palafin slot. And that's pretty much game. That is pretty much game. Game set match because E-Speed's got that priority. See you later, Palafin. Get it on out of here. And now it's 2v1. What a first match. What a first match. And that's what I was saying in the uh, in the beginning. I was just like, really the only water Pokemon that we've been seeing is Palafin. So Storm Drink Ashton's really there to counter Palafin, considering Palafin is that strong. Palafin is legit that strong at the moment. So Storm Drink Gastron or Storm Drink Tatsuki, my fault, is he, he's the guy for the job. He's the guy for the job, and he's been ripping. He's been ripping. Ice Shard comes out here. We have multi-scale. We're able to soak it up. Moonblast finishes off match number one, and there it is. One to get us started. Let's hop to a second. Look to go back to back. First match went perfectly. We got that Storm Drain Tatsugiri out there. Absolutely ripped it up. And we might have to bring it in here in match number two. We're going up against a Miascarada and Don Thozo team with Ting Lu. Of course, I'm versing Ting Lu's all day today, right? Kind of annoying that we have Chiyu and Fluttermane and we just be going up against Ting Lu's, but it's all good. We'll deal with it. We'll get after it. They also have Warm Moon, Mouse Soul with Fangard, and last but not least, they are rocking out with Golden Go. Um, hmm. Who shall Jeans go into? I'm thinking Tatsugiri's got to come in here. I just like that Pokemon really fast, hit hard too. So I'm all about it. I'm all about it. So I'm going to bring in Tatsugiri again, but not. I'm not going to lead it. Um, I could go Glamora. I really like Glamora for the lead. So Glamora's going to come out here for the lead on top of Chiyu. I think Chiyu Glamora is going to be solid. Bring Tatsugiri in the back end. And then last but not least, got to bring the Flutter Flutter main. Super effective onto the Warm Moon, onto the Miascarada, onto the Ting Lu, onto the Golden Go. Come on, man. We gotta bring that Pokemon. <laughs> we gotta bring Fluttermane. As much as I don't want to use Fluttermane because I use it every single battle, like, whenever you go up against a matchup, you're like, dang, yo, Fluttermane's super effective on that, super effective on that, it outspeeds that, it hits a KO this. It's just too good. It's just way too good. So it's just like, come on. Gotta bring it. Gotta bring it. But have any of you guys been keeping up with the uh, NBA playoffs and NHL playoffs? I definitely have. I think the games have been amazing, especially the hockey playoffs. Ooh, I'm a big hockey fan. But, yo, game seven. So there's been, like, three or four already. And they've been awesome. They've been awesome. Yo. Playoff hockey, nothing like it. Nothing like it. Definitely been keeping up with NBA as well. NBA is fun to watch, but there's nothing like playoff hockey. Let me know if you guys been keeping up with any of them and what series you guys been watching the most. But uh, Ting Lu and Golden Go come out here. And I'm looking to just throw a little toxic on this thing. And maybe just Dark Pulse this. Because if you terrestrialize into... Do I Flamethrower or do I Dark Pulse? I think I might just protect this turn. I'm just going to protect this turn. See what he wants to do. I'm definitely going to throw this poison on him. I want to see if he terrestrializes or anything. Because Golden Go might even swap here, right? We'll see. I'm just hoping I can get off this Toxic onto this uh, Team Blue. Just start slowly chipping up damage. It'd be big time for us. So I end up protecting the little fishy. And wow, I could have just ripped into the Golden Go. Could just see you later, but we're gonna also toxic this thing down, get off that bad poison. We like that a lot, and we'll see what he wants to do from here. We shall see. Make it rain comes out here, so we are gonna block that. We do have focus ash as well, so hopefully, you're not double down to Glamora and I get off another turn. That could be lovely. That could be lovely. That would be absolutely lovely. And I think he's not gonna double down to Glamora, I think he's gonna double down into Chi Yu, right? Yep, yeah, there out comes the stop and catch him. Um, I could Terrasse slash Chi from here. Which I might want to do. I might want to do. Or I could hard swap it. If you're going for a stop tantrum. Man, I wish I had Dragonite in this instance, right? Be awesome. But uh, from here, I'm just going to spiky shield up. And I'm just going to flamethrower. Or should I dark pulse? Hmm. I think we're going to flamethrower. Let's try to get rid of gold to go. Who might even swap? So that's why I kind of want to go into a dark pulse. But flamethrower is going to do more damage. Especially with Ting Lu on the field, I'd rather... Try to get off as much damage as I possibly can. So I'm going to go into this. Uh, I forgot to try slice, didn't I? I forgot to try slice. That one's on me. That one's on me. My Chiyu's going to die here. I'm pretty sure I forgot to try slice. I really want to try slice in the grass. But I guess we'll save retire for later. It's fine. As long as we can get rid of this Golden Go. I think that'd be good. Because again, Sabotage is going to do double damage because it failed the last turn. He ends up withdrawing the Golden Go. I think it's going for a heat wave, and you're going to send out him. That's why I want to go into the Dark Pulse. Don Dozo comes out here. Spiky Shield's going to fly. And... Ch -ch 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 Stop it, Hitch. going to rip into me. Give me a burn, though. Give me a little burn. That's not bad damage. Throw me a burn. No burn. There's a Stop it, Hitch. Yeah, that's why I want the Terrasalize. That could have been huge, man. We could have really used it. 
And, okay, we still have it, which is good. We still have it. Do I still Terra Grass? Or do I burn? Or do I Toxic the... The Dondozo? I think I Toxic the, the Dondozo. And I Protect again. Exactly what I'm going for. Putting some big-time burns on these guys. Or, uh, poisons. Exactly what I'm doing. I can always Thrash Slice next turn if I want to. But I'm just gonna protect my boy. Protect the fish, look for another big time toxic, have that damage just start slowly chipping up on two bulky Pokemon, right? right? Both these Pokemon learn Fisher. If they're just out here bulking up shots, they're gonna be able to absolutely rip into me, so I'm not trying to deal with it. I'm not trying to deal with it. Let's see what they do. This one's this one's gonna be good. I'm hoping I can land this toxic too. Plus, I have Hex on top of that. Hex can double down on damage. But I end up protecting the Chi Yu. Little Fishy gets to protect. And Dantos is also going to protect. So that's smart protect from him. Hopefully, the uh, Ting Lu is just going after my Chi Yu, which I would think is happening, right? There's no way you hit Lamora and cause the Toxies to breeze to go out. And you go for a Ruination, which I mean, is, is that special physical? I don't think it's any. That's a smart play. I'll give it to him. Very smart play. The Toxic is going to chip up, Leftover is going to come out here. I might Terrasalize and just hit that thing, right? I might just use my Terror to hit that thing. Toxic is chipping. Toxic is chipping. I could go into Tatsu. Um, I don't want to just save my Tatsu, right? I think Flutter means to play here. I think Flutter Flutter is going to be the play. So I'm going to go into Flutter. I'm going to Terrasalize my Chiyu. I am going to Terrasalize my Chi Yu. I'm going to Moonblast you down. Do I want to Terrasalize you? Actually, mm. yeah, I do. I'm going to Terrasalize, I'm going to Terrasalize Chi Yu. So Chi Yu, and I want to just go for a Terra Blast. Get off as much damage as I possibly can. That's going to be my point. I'm going to hope that this Moonblast can KO. It might not be able to, but it should be able to do a huge chunk of damage. But if it does KO, then this Terra Blast can do even more damage and potentially KO the Dondozo. Wow, this match is this match crazy. This match is wild. I wish I would have got that Toxic off on the Dondozo. Probably should have just protected my Fluttermane, to be honest. Let the Toxic... Yeah, that's what I should have done. I should have let the Toxic damage chip up a little bit more. And then get after it, but it's fine. You might end up swapping. You never know. You might end up terrestrializing too. He swaps the Dondozo. Oh, dude, that hurts. That one hurts right there. That one hurts, that swap right there. I just wasted my Terra. I just wasted my Terra. That really hurts. So we end up terrestrializing. Oh my lord. Really scary here. And yeah, I could have just terrestrialized my Flutter, man. I just wasted my Terra. My heart. My soul hurting. We still got the little fish in the back end. They are going to terrestrialize Ting Wu. Oh my lord. I'm dead. I'm a dead man. I'm a dead man. Because now he just heavy slams into me. Poison. Poison, poison, poison. So out comes all the Terrasalizations. Play's going crazy. My Flutter Mane's going her. My Flutter Mane's going her. Terra Blast is going to fly here. It's going to do like 5 damage. And we'll go from there. You heavy slam him. Please just take out my Chiyu. Eat this up. Yeah, no shot. No shot. Okay, so he takes you out. Uh, Toxic can take that thing out next turn. Um, I could double protect just so Toxic can finish off the Tinglu. Let's look how much damage this one's going to do. Yeah, next one's going to KO, no problem. Next one is going to KO. But I do have my boy, the Tatsu. My Tatsu's going to come out here. My Tatsu does come out here. And I cannot protect. Um... I think I just Dragon Pulse a slot. I'd rather choice to a Dragon Pulse more so than anything, right? Knowing that he has Dondozo, Dragon Pulse probably my best bet. Oh, we're getting ripped right now. So I'm gonna Dragon Pulse, I guess, this slot down. Because Ting Lu dies out here. And I'm just gonna protect. I'm gonna protect you. I'm gonna protect the fish again. It's probably another Make It Rain comes out here, which we're hoping we can eat up. So I was going to KO it, but hopefully Ting Lu goes after Chi or something. That'd be amazing, but I highly doubt that. That's why I really wish I had Protect. Dragon Pulse comes out here. Doing a little bit of damage. 
And Tingly, what are you doing here? Stop and catch him in the chi. We love that. We love that. That's weird that he doubled down like that. I think it was because just in case we KO'd his uh, goal to go. But we're going to end up taking out you. And from here... What is the play? I think a Dragon Pulse might be able to KO that goal to go. I'm not even kidding with you. Now that Ting lose off the field, Don Dozo might come back out here. It does not. Miyasukurata. Ooh, we don't like that. We simply don't like that. <laughs> we don't like that at all. Um... I'm gonna go into you with this. I'm gonna try to flamethrow you. I mean, Sucker Punch probably gonna KO come out here. That could be a little rough, but I'm gonna double down into you. Yep, there's Sucker Punch. Should I probably should just went for the protect, but but yeah, it would have failed. It would have been awful. Yeah, me ask about it with the Sucker Punch comes out here. How much is Dragon Pulse doing? This thing's probably sashed anyway. Mega Man's gonna pop, which we eat. I'm surprised you're outspeeding my little tattoo. We might be able to eat up another one, but he still has Dantos in the back end, which sucks. But Dragon Pulse flies out here. Oh my damage. If you didn't have Sash, if you didn't have Sash, you're a goner. If you did not have Sash, you were a goner. But yeah, I can't do anything about this. He's gonna sucker punch me. That's gonna be the game. Our opponent played really well in this, in this match. We're one and one. Let's hop into our third and final. Let's go grab ourselves a winning record with this Tatsu Gary team. Third and final match coming at you guys. We're going up against a Wo Chen team with Annihilate and Mousel. That is always scary. We do not like that. They also have Sylveon, Gothitelle with Shadow Tag, and Indeedee for support. Want to win this battle? We're one and one. I really want to grab ourselves a winning record, but how should we go into this one? How should we play? I feel like Lamora could be solid. We could set up some poisons. We can really get ripping with that. So I think Lamora is going to be really good for us. I mean, the only problem is they don't really have a lot of physical attackers, so. They might not proc the Toxic Debris. And at, at that point, we could just set up some Toxics, which could be really good for us. But I'm going to go into... I think Chi Yu and Glamora could be a really solid lead for us. So I really do like that. I'm going to end up going into both of them. They can't fake out my... My Chi Yu because I have Cover Cloak, so that could be good. And if they fake out my Glamora, Toxic Debris go on the field. So that does work out. So I'm going to go Chi Yu, Glamora for the lead. I'm going to bring Fluttermane in the back end. And then Tatsugiri might not come in here. We're done though, so I don't really like both of them. I kind of like the Dragonite, though. I know they have Sylveon, but I just feel like Dragonite with E-Speed could be really good for us, right? Ah, oh, dude, they do have Psychic Terrain, so Tatsu might be our play. Or I can just go into Bulky Dondozo. Bulky Dondozo with Grass Tower is not bad. Um, we have Bulldoze for Speed Control, Wave Crash, and do some damage. Um, but you know what? Screw it. We're going Tatsu. We are going to go Tatsu. Got to bring in the star of the show. We're trying to showcase this Pokemon. Don't really get to use it too much, especially when you're uh, playing with Don Dozos. But it just hops in the mouth and you get no value out of them. But it boosts your Don Dozo. So we're here with just Tatsu Giri today. And I kind of like how it's been doing it. Ripped up in match number one. Match number two, it was doing some crazy damage. Just was overpowered getting like 3v1. It just stood no chance, but it was doing some crazy damage. Annihilate Mouse do come out here for the lead, and from here, um, hmm, what do we do from here? We think he terrasslides. There's a chance he terrasslides here. Um, I could throw a toxic onto it. I could just go toxic this slot. And then maybe just Dark Pulse the Mouse Hole. Which, I mean, I kind of like. I kind of do like that. And the second one would do. We might just go for a Drain Punch here. Might even Terrasilize. Be looking to KO my Chi Yu, probably. As long as I can get off this Toxic, I'm kind of kind of cool with that. Because Chi Yu's going to get off some big damage with the Dark Pulse here. So the beatup comes out here. Mouse Hole is fastest on the field. Toxic is going to land onto this nice, lovely Annihilate. And we're going to start slowly chipping off some damage onto this Pokemon. Which is good for us. Dark Pulse is going to fly. Big time damage on Mouse Hold. And Drain Punch is going to KO us. So he's back to full HP. He picks up the KO. But we got a Toxic off and some big time damage on the Mouse Hold. Alright. I feel you. Hmm. So what's our play here? I could double protect and let that poison start going out. Um. Hmm. I do have multi skill. I do have Tattoo. I mean, not multi skill. I do have Flare Mane. Which Flare Mane is going to be awesome. Could go into Steel Terra. If you're gonna go into Rage Fist, I think Steel Terra is gonna be your play. Could set up a sub. Oh, I could. I could indeed set up a sub. Yeah, Fluttermane comes out here. Um. Hmm. 
I think I might just set up a sub to Rastalize. And then get after it that way. Well, you know, I'm going to double protect here. I don't think he bulks up. I really don't think he bulks up. I'm going to double protect and then maybe sub up next turn. So we'll, we'll see what Annihilate wants to do. With this poison on him, that's pretty good for us. Look at the mouse holes. The thing's adorable. <laughs> thing is adorable. We probably should just Terrasilize your Chi turn one, but it's all good. It is all good. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna start letting this poison stack, right? I think that's our play. Let's see what he ends up doing. He's gonna end up Terrasilizing. I'm fine with that. I don't mind it. It's a what type? You're gonna you're gonna allow us fire? If it's fire, I wouldn't mind it. It is fire because next turn. I could sub up with Fluttermane, and then I could just go into a Power Gem. If you go for a Follow Me, that's fine. I mean, it's not that big of a deal. I'm just going to Protect here. I'm not going to waste my Terra. I'm not going to do that. So we double Protect. We're going to Spiky Shield here as well. Hopefully someone hits Glamora, right? They can take some damage from Spiky Shield. Follow Me comes out here. So that's a little bit... That, that, that's where my problem lies. It's to Follow Me. It's to Follow Me. Rage Fist is going to come after me. Um, You're going to go after him. That's a little weird. Maybe he thought I was just protecting Fluttermane. The Toxic now slowly chips up. Hmm. And from here, I'm thinking I just Power Gem you down. I mean, I, I could throw it into the Annihilate slot. Which I'm going to do. I'm going to throw it into the Annihilate slot, and I'm going to sub up. Yeah, that's going to be my plan. I'm going to sub up just to block this shot, because I can't protect. I can sub, but I can't protect. So I can sub and then protect and then sub again. I can constantly go back and forth. Which could be the play, because right now I'm looking for the Toxic to just start slowly dealing the damage, slowly getting after it. And now I set up this sub. I think another follow me does come out here, I think he wants to protect this Annihilate as much as he possibly can. And now they go for a Super Fang. Continue. That's fine, it's going to half my HP. And Toxic Debris are now on the field. That's fine, I'm cool with that. Power Gem's going to fly into this slot, that's cool. And what do you go for? You go for a Rage Fist into... My Fluttermane, right? Into that sub slot. Beautiful. Awesome. Duh. Great play from, uh, from us. Uh, from here, I could just double protect, right? I could double protect. This poison it might actually KO. And it doesn't. So I could double protect here. Protects are open. If they want to swap, I mean poison just happens to the other Pokemon. So I feel like I just double protect. If you want to swap, you could swap. I'm just letting my poison do its work. I'm letting the poison do its job. So double protection come out here. We're going to finish off Annihilate. If he wants to swap the Annihilate, I don't mind it because then the other Pokemon that comes in here gets poison. Unless it's a poison type. And I don't think you had any poison types, right? I don't believe you did. I don't believe you did. We still have Tatsugiri in the back end, which I really, really like. Um, getting rid of uh, Annihilate is going to be huge for us. So we're slow playing this. I'm not dealing with this Annihilate. I'm, I'm trying not to deal with it. So I think Mousel is fastest on the field though. Follow me comes out here. It's just that's fine. I wonder who you're going after though. Reach fist and who? Spiky shield damage. Cool. So spiky shield's gonna KO it, I think. And he's gonna be forced to bring out a nice level Pokemon. Actually, it didn't take no spiky shield damage. That's weird. I think it's because it's a ghost type move, which makes sense. But see you later. You're gone. Next Pokemon swaps in here. Get in the poison treatment. We like that. So Gothitel comes out here. Okay. Bolty Tell is gonna get poisoned. Uh you can fake me out. That's fine. But from here, what is my play? I mean you can go for a follow me, you can. Uh I could go into my terror type. But I feel like I saved it, right? I think like I just power gem you down and I go into a hex here, actually. Hex is gonna be double damage. I doubt you go for the follow me. You do go for the follow me. That hurts. That one hurts right there. That one hurts, because Hex is double damage, man. Hex can really do some damage. Power Gem's gonna fly here. This will KO you, right? Yep, you're gone. If I can get off this Hex onto that Glamora, that's big. Or not Glamora, uh, onto that Gothitelle, that's big, big. So you can go for a Trick him. Ooh, we don't like that. No Lucky, me no Lucky that. Uh, I think I might Terrasilize here. Depending on who they bring out here. So Poison's chipping up. Hex can get some big time damage off. Hex can be some big time damage, and they're gonna go into Wu Chen. Big time problems gonna be a channel. But it is gonna take a poison. 
it is going to take a poison. So the moves that it has is going to be like grass moves, dark moves. Um, I think I might just Terrasilize. Do I Terrasilize Moonblast or do I Hex? I think I Terrasilize Moonblast into this Woe Chen slot. Steel type can be a friend, right? Yeah, I'm cool with that. Steel type is going to be our friend. So I'm going to Terrasilize. I think getting after Woe Chen is going to be our best bet, right? Gothitelle. Gothitelle is solid, right? It has Shadow Attack, but Woe Chen is going to be that Pokemon that's going to Leech Seed and just slowly, like, just drain your team out. So by going after Woe Chen here, it could be a good play from us. Ends up going for a Fake Tears. He wants to drop my Special Defense. That's scary. Fake Tears here. Oops. That's weird. Now, that's a weird play right there. That is a weird play. A Leech Seed and a Fake Tears? That's a weird play. Power Gem's going to fly here. Doing some... Oh, we get a crit. We get a crit. We love that crit. Moonblast should KO. Let's go. Let's go. That's game set match. Glamour and Fluttermane being OP here in match number three. They're ripping it, yo. The poisons were huge. We poisoned every single Pokemon besides that uh, that mouse hole, but now it's game set match. We just go into a Power Gem here. We're going to go into a Hex. I think our opponent's probably just going to run this match. Yep, battle is canceled. We go 2-1 and, and grab ourselves an awesome winning record with this Storm Drain Tatsugiri team. There it is, ladies and gentlemen, winning record with Storm Drain Tatsugiri. Got it out there in match number one and in match number two. We brought it on the squad in match number three, but Fluttermain and Glamour just stole the show, poisoning all the Pokemon, doing some crazy damage. We'd love to see it. But guys, that's going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positive today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.